we have another question for binomial expansion which is uh, saying find the term independent of x in the expansion of them. so this question had uh, four marks so now when we say find the term independent of x it is a term which does not have x okay in expansion let's say you have got an expansion which is um maybe uh, 3x squared minus 3 plus 4x to the power 3 now expansion in paint of x which doesn't have x in this case is this negative 3 so that's what we want to do now for binomial we need first to take note to say it is all coming from the binomial theorem where we are saying n choose r then a n minus r times b times r now this formula is very important in this case n is the number which we are going to be given any number which is the power here that is our n so in this case our n is 12 now this is always in form of a or plus b so now let me let me give it like this it's more like we have a plus b to the power n so this one the formula always is n choose r then we have a n minus r times b to the power r so in this case the first number which you are going to be given is your a the second number is your b okay meaning in this case my a is a 2x squared my b is a negative 1 over x to the power 2 r is the one first i need to find because we are saying that for us to find a term independent of x i need first to find the r because i'm I, i'm supposed to to expand this a then n minus r b times r so first you have to write this formula after that now plug in the values so my n is 12 r is the one i don't know in this case i want to find my r a is 2x squared so I'll put 2x squared to the power n i know n n is 12 minus r is the one i want to find first what else my b in this case is negative 1 over x to the power r r in this case is the one i don't know now a term independent of x it is a term where x is is to the power 0 in a case where you have got you have expanded your binomial then you come across 3x to the power 0 so any number to the power 0 is is 1 so in this case it will be just 3 meaning that x to the power 0 is going to be a term independent of x so what do we do we have to equate this equal to x to the power 0 because we are trying to find first the value of r so after finding the value of r i'll come back and plug in the values here that will be the term independent of x okay once i find the value of r I'll come and plug in the values that is going to be a term in print of x now we know that eh, this one can be written as eh, in this case now I'm going just to ignore you you always ignore the coefficient because we are only interested in x we are trying to find the value of r so we are going just to be interested in x even here in x but now this is going to be x to the power 2 then I have 12 minus r this is 1 negative 1 over x which is the same as negative 1 times x to the power negative 1 so now I have got x to the power negative 1 then I have also r this r has to be equal to x to the power 0 I'm just you always ignore the coefficient please so I've ignored this I've also ignored this because I'm only interested in x 
But now after finding the value of R, I'll come back and plug in the values there and find the answer. The answer I'm going to find there, that will be a term independent of x. So there we go. I can clearly see that this is going to be x. 2 times 12 is going to be 24 minus 2 times r, it will be 2r. Okay, so now if the coefficient, if the bases are the same, we add the powers. So now this is going to be added, this is the same as negative r. So I'm going to say minus r is equal to x to the power 0. So since these are the same, you just equate the power equal to each other. Okay, so in this case, I'm going just to equate the power, which is going to be 24 minus 2r minus r is equal to 0. So it will be 24 minus 3r is equal to 0. Then I'll shift now 24 to the other side. So I have negative r is equal to negative 24. Divide both sides by negative 3, both sides by negative 3. So these two guys will cancel. Meaning my r is now equal to negative and negative will cancel. 3 into 24 is 8. Now that I have find my r, I need to go back and find my term independent of x. Okay? So I'll get rid of this now. A term independent of x, I said, if I plug in the value of r, listen, if I plug in the value of r in this equation, when I'm trying to find the answer, you discover to say this x, x is going to disappear because we are finding a term independent of x. If you discover that x does not disappear, meaning your r is wrong. Okay? So let's see. As long as they cancel out, as long as the x cancels out, then your r is correct. So I'm going to say, I'm going now to plug in the values. I'll say 12, my r now is 8. Then I'm going to say 2x squared. So I have 12 minus 8. Then here negative 1 over x to the power 8. Let's see. So we are saying r is 8. I can now get rid of this. So I have 12, choose 8, then this is going to give me 12 minus 4 is, uh, 12 minus 8 is 4 on top here. So I'm going to have now 2x squared to the power 4, okay, times negative 1 over x to the power 8, okay. Next, I have two, 12 choose 8. Then I can clearly see that this is going to be 2 raised to the power 4 is 16. Then x squared times x squared to the power 4, meaning is x to the power 8 times. Here, I can clearly see that negative 1 raised to the power 8 is going to be positive 1. Then x raised to the power 8 is x to the power 8. Now I can remove the brackets. This one I'll just bring it the way it is. Don't temper, it, uh, don't temper with it. Just bring it the way it is. So it's going to be 16 x to the power 8 times 1 over x to the power 8. Now we can clearly see that x to the power 8 and x to the power 8 can cancel. The moment you see that x is going, that is a term independent of x. Now I have 12 choose 8 times 16. Now I need to find the answer for this. So I'll do it from here. I'll do it from here. So I'll say 12... I'll just write, choose 8 times, I'll just put a dot, that is times 16. So 12 is 12 factorial over 12 minus 8 
factorial times 8 factorial. This is coming from here. Let me just show it here. If you happen to have n, choose r. This is n factorial over n minus r in the brackets factorial times r factorial. So in this case our n is 12, that, that, that's why I've put 12 factorial. Then my r is 8, so it's 12 minus 8 factorial, then times 8 factorial. Okay. Now, so I'll have 12 factorial here, I'll have 4 factorial times 8 factorial. But we should remember to say we need to do times 16. Okay. So even here, as we are doing this, is times what? 16. This will be equal to 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. I'm going to end on 8 factorial because even down here I've got 8 factorial. But this 4, I'm going to say 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then times 8 factorial. So 8 factorial and 8 factorial can go. Okay, then 4 into 12, it goes there 3 times. 3 and 3 can also go, meaning I've remained with 2 down here. So I'm going to say 2 into 10 is 5, meaning I've remained with, here there is also times what? Times 16. I've remained with 11 times 5 times 9 times 16. So the answer I'm going to find there, 11 times 5 is 55. Then what is 16 times 9? So 16 times 9 is 144. So 144 times 55, that is going to give me close to, I can just do it here. So 144 times 55, 5 times 5 is um, 20, 5 times, or oh, 5 times 4, sorry, 5 times 4 is uh, 20, I'll write 2, I'll write 0, I'll write 0 carry 2, 5 times 4 is 20, so 20 plus 2, 22, I'll write 2, then um, 5 times four, 1 is 5, plus 2, 7. Next, this is also 5. I'm expecting to have the same. I'm going to have 0. I'm going to have 2. I'm going to have 7. I add, I'll have 0, 2, 9, 7. So it's 7,920. So a term independent of x is 7,920. So in this case, this is my answer for this question.